Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your man Britt, and today we are here to continue to watch Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. We are on episode 4. I'm super, super nervous for this episode. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited, but mostly nervous. And I mean, y'all remember how the last one left, left off. Uh, I'm nervous. So let's see what the heck is about to happen. Okay, let's dive right in. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 4. Shabam. Oh my gosh. Oh. Damn. Oh my gosh, right now. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Damn. They're both insane. Oh my god. Was beautiful and devastating. お互いに不可侵を Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> the, the, did nothing stop him from absorbing him? あ。呪術師なら切った。掘り込んでた呪霊がどうなるかは親に恵まれたな。呪術もね、俺みたいな猿に目立つってこと。長生きしたけは忘れんな。そうだった、そうだった。what? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I can't believe she's dead. I can't believe she's dead. I can't believe she's dead. だが時が来てしょ天に示された。タブー。上となり果てた対象である天元されのどうか。もう焼けくそだったのに。それがどうだ。今や手中にある。もし天元が暴走すれば人間社会かもしれねえぜ。星とと闇なし。え、そう、you <笑> バンセキョの協力。沖縄の喧嘩。ああ。なんであんとさなかった。適当に凍結連れてって。メイド救出失敗の緊張より。結果を。つか。中華薬こき使ってんじゃねえ。お前と関わるのはな。ごとか地獄
Megumi's dad. What? お、マジ。元気ピンピンだよ。反転術式。びっくり。前に喉から反撃を諦めて重力が負の絵だから負のエネルギー同型合わせて性のエネルギーを生む。What? Oh my god. Hi. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dang. Oh my gosh. Do you hear this music too? Oh my god, look at him. Neutral <sighs> Dang, he's not even scared. ありがとう、奥さん。ああ。代々デメリットは図式の情報の人間だろう。一部の人間しか知らない。ああ、そう、ビューティフルライナー。運転と判定、多層の質量を出す。そういう生き方。Oh my gosh, guys, what an emotional and action-packed episode. Also a gorgeous episode. That, that was a very, very, very well-rounded episode, okay? It had a little bit of everything. That was great. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Uh, first, the fight between Ghetto and uh, Toji. Amazing. First of all, that was great. It was just really cool getting to see that, what do you call it, the rainbow dragon or some shit? That was neat. Seeing him fight and then when freaking Toji came in there and just sliced that dragon like all the way from the head to the tail. Not only was it like gross, it was also just very beautifully animated. I really enjoyed that. You know, it kind of uh, reminded me, oh, you know what it kind of reminded me of? It kind of reminded me of the art, um, the art jutsu from uh, Naruto. Remember his friend joined later on in Shippenden? Uh, I forget his name. Oh, it was on the tip of my tongue. Um, he's really quiet and he does the painting. It's with scrolls. Um, either way, the art kind of was very reminiscent of that to me in a weird way. Like, I don't know why that kind of made me think of that, but it was beautifully done regardless. And I really, really, really enjoyed that fight. Really cool, very fast paced, very intense. Also, I really enjoyed how he explained how he got the freaking 
curse inside, how he got the cursed weapon inside. He made somehow the, the curse shrink so he could swallow it. And then whatever that thing had eaten also shrunk. And also he could put it in his stomach and then it would become invisible. That's crazy. I don't know. I was not expecting that to be the answer. And then like it looks like he totally wins, right? Against against Ghetto and Gojo's defeated. Like we see a flashback to him again. And he's like talking with his buddy and they're collecting the money. And I'm just like, he hands off Rico's body. I still, I still cannot believe, guys, that she's dead. Like, that really happened. Like, what? What? I just, I just don't, I just am still just flabbergasted. I really expected somehow it to not be the case, but they just handed off her body to some weird star freaking religion group right what the hell and he basically was saying well if the world goes down so be it wait what yeah and then like when freaking toji and that fool hear him say that they just kind of look at each other and are like meh he's crazy whatever no you don't say that you just really don't care you just helped out i mean i guess to be an assassin and take money and yada yada you must not care but <sighs> dang Dang, is all I gotta say. And then, of course, we uh, cannot forget the end fight between Toji and Gojo. What? What? Gojo literally just, like, loses his hit. He says he comes to this realization when he's on the brink of death, and he just it gets how it works now. I mean, I feel like that's how you would grasp the understanding of it, is at that moment. You either do or you don't, right? And he did. And dang, he could even do purple. Mudas M Mudasaki, I think. That is cool. That is so cool. And what was it? What was it? A a imaginary matter or some shit? Infinite matter or some shit like that? What, the what, what was it again? I have to look it up again, but dang. It just straight up blew the biggest hole. Through Toji, like, he went to feel. When he went to feel and there was nothing there, I was like, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, right now. <sighs> Rough. And it's like, you can't help but... I just couldn't help but feel bad. I know he just killed Rico, but like... Then it flashes to his kid. And how does he not remember? Like, he clearly cares. Like, look, he had that memory of... Like, clearly his girl with his child. And he said, oh yeah, I named him Meg Megumi. Like, you you remember this shit, but then he kind of doesn't. I just, I don't get it. I'm, I'm just, what the heck? And also, doesn't he's like, he's alive, right? In the future. So how does he come back? That's like, you're done for. He even like, yeah, I don't, I don't get, I don't get that part. I'm very intrigued how the hell he comes back in the future. And then his last words were saying that like his son will get sold off. Do what you will with that what i don't know guys this was just nuts i i i am happy as all hell to see that go to lived i mean of course I, like i said i kind of expected him to obviously uh but the way he's just come to realize his abilities like awakened them and it was just so beautiful how he was just like i don't know why it was so emotional at least to me but like it was i don't know it was how he was just like everything is just so beautiful right now it was just i don't know and everything was so beautiful when we were looking at the world just mundane things at that moment from his perspective like the butterfly was the most gorgeous butterfly to ever seen and i bet it was just a normal butterfly to everyone else um but his perception at that moment was just like everything was in like exactly where it was supposed to be like it was just in a state of perfection i don't know it was extremely awesome very beautiful and intense and also shocking informative this this episode was also very informative like i'm probably just gonna watch it again just for the heck of it you know what i mean just to absorb everything one more time i i'm a little I'm excited for the next episode. I'm a little wary of what the heck is going to happen. I have absolutely no idea. Are we going to see Ghetto and Gojo, like, separate? Like, is this going to... Are we going to get to see this clash happen? This switch in them? Like, I don't know. I'm... Or, or, or is, is there going to be more to that that we don't get to see? Uh, I don't know. 
I'm nervous. This was a great episode, guys. I still can't believe Rico's dead. What the hell? Were you guys kind of expecting something to happen? Like, heard us some way come back? We all expected Gojo to come back, right? That was, that was a given. And he did, boy, did he come back. Dang. <sighs> Amazing. I don't know, though. I really just, I'm bummed about Rico. This was a great episode. Regardless, it was fantastic. I am very, very, very pumped for the next one. I'm a little nervous. I don't remember how long the hiatus is. I'm gonna have to look that up as well um, until the continuation of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the next one's the last one for uh, like a couple of weeks, right? The next one's going to be good, and I cannot wait. So hopefully y'all will tune in with me uh, for the next episode of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. It will be Episode 5. I have very, very high hopes. I'm very, very excited. Uh, so hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. Have a great night. And uh, yeah, until I see you again. Goodbye. Shabam.